The commitment of building Lanai's, a 70-ton, 24-metre or 80-foot steel sailing catamaran, was not apparent to me until long after it was finished. It required single-minded dedication because years of work would pass before I could sail in her. Very early, I built this small cat out of galvanised iron and it helped make the virtues of cats evident to me. Helping friends Winston and Ewan build and sail this cat added to it and gave valuable experience as well. The design challenge was due to there being no existing large cats for precedence. Invention was essential, hence this testing of a model using a falling bucket over a pulley to tow it. Extremely limited funds required me to make all I could bench shears, grinder, power hacksaw, forklift and sandblasting machine. I now felt confident to begin construction. The foundation sleepers were laid in 1972. It would be eight more years for Linnaeus to be launched. Four years were devoted to forming and welding the frames and bulkheads and plating the hulls and wing. As Linnaeus grew, her sheer size began to reveal itself. On a rough estimate, I used 100,000 electrodes for three and a half kilometres, or over two miles of welding. The work was physically demanding and I had to be physically fit. Steel is very strong and only yields to large forces. It is heavy and help from friends was very welcome. It was difficult fitting plates to the upright hulls, so I made sure the second hull was complete before turning it over. After plating the hulls, a commercial crane would have been too expensive to overturn them, so I used jacks. I then aligned them and used the length of garden hose filled with water to make a U-tube to equalise their relative heights. Effective rust prevention required sandblasting using a machine I made prior to immediate painting with zinc silicate. I had to cover around 700 square metres or 7,500 square feet with a spray of sand being about the size of a large coin. The forklift carried the engines before they were lowered into the engine rooms which in later years became quite crowded. A certain amount of engineering knowledge was immensely helpful. The four coats of paint were applied with a roller, difficult places with spray and brush. Painting was a huge task to persist with, about equivalent to painting five houses inside and out. I had spent over 12,000 hours or around six years full-time work equivalent on jobs sometimes tedious or even dangerous by the time the nose was ready for the sea. I was also working full-time for a living. At the same time, it was mostly enjoyable and creative work, and I would encourage others with the means to also pursue their dreams. Thank you for watching.